Hi guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. And first of all, I am really sorry this is late. We had all sorts of issues yesterday and then this morning we're going out on an appointment. So I'm not gonna get to edit this until later today, but this is going to be a vlog on our vacation where we went to Palmyra, Maine, Bar Harbor, Maine, and then we ended up going to Camp Abella in May, in um, Canada, oh my gosh. And, and then back to Maine to visit the lighthouse in Lubeck and then back to Bar Harbor. It was like an amazing, amazing 12 days up in Bar Harbor, Maine, actually almost two weeks away. So it was a wonderful trip. I hope you joined me. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Please leave me a, a comment below, like the video, share this if you can. You know what, at the time of this filming, I'm one subscriber shy of hitting 20,000. Holy moly, I never thought I'd hit 20,000. Of course, I haven't hit it yet. But if you are watching this and you've not subscribed, man, that would mean the world to me if you did and help me get over that hump to hit 20,000 would be awesome. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. We always spend two days at up in Palmyra, Maine, at a resort called Fog Brook. It used to be called Palmyra RV Resort, but it's a camping resort that's on a golf course. So they just opened up a clubhouse this year where we had dinner and just sat and enjoyed. And then we're off to Bar Harbor. Couldn't wait to get there. But of course, we needed to stop for an ice cream. And so we found this hidden gem that the locals go to, and the ice cream was awesome. And now Bar Harbor, here we come. This is our favorite campsite. I think we've been coming here 23 years. Right on the edge of the water, it's low tide. So when the tide, the water comes in, sorry for the jerky camera movement. But when the water comes in, it fills right up to the edge of our property line. And the very next day, we went out to dinner with Justin and Tamara. And we had a great time enjoying the fire and just Awesome burn, time. baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn. I'm getting ready to teach a class remotely. So my background, when I start my virtual class, is going to have a different background. But take a look at what's outside my window. Of course, I won't show my husband sitting on the couch, but great place to teach, huh? <laughs> Not really sure. what this person with the pointy hat, white gloves, standing on the rocks is doing. Bar Harbor is just so, so pretty. We just love it there. Never did find out what that wizard person was doing. We did a couple of little sightseeing, took a couple of pictures, drove around. Gosh, we never tire of Bar Harbor. It's so beautiful. So we are off and running. So yesterday we saw a wizard. <laughs> the park that was so weird, wasn't it, honey? Yeah, I don't know what he was up to. But... I have no idea either. It was like really weird. And then we went over to Seawall. It was really, really pretty. Took a couple of pictures. Now we're going out in the rain. These boats kind of rocking just mesmerized us or me. And then we went through the park, even though it was raining. I love the covered bridges inside of Acadia. And Sand Beach was just about empty. No one was down there. And it was so, so pretty. Drove through the carriage trails and all into the park and just stopped and took pictures and, and enjoyed. So Jane, I was saying that it's actually, actually you were saying it, it's actually nicer in the park in the rain. Why? Hardly any people. Hardly any people, except for us. Another gorgeous spot. <laughs> really awesome place. Oh my gosh, look at that. So we're off another day, huh? M&J Adventures. M&J Adventures. So in this, you know, I forgot to really talk about the beginning of our Bar Harbor vacation. 
it was very different this year because we were super excited because um, Justin, who is Jay's son, my stepson, who lives in Atlanta, and his wife Tamara were coming up. They were going to join us for a few days in Bar Harbor, and that was like that was like awesome because that's never really happened before, you know, on any kind of a trip. I mean, we've had like my son come up, but and friends and stuff like that, but they flew all the way from Atlanta. And they loved it. So the first few days, I'm going to insert some photos as I'm talking, but the first few days, you know, we did a little bit of sightseeing. We went over to the top of Cadillac and took a couple of pictures and then Jay went golfing with them and um, just a very, very minor sightseeing. Most of the time we vegged out at our campsite. We had some uh, beautiful sunsets and we ended up having a lobster fest one night where we buy lobsters very reasonably off of a local person on the other end of the island and we also buy steamers off of a local person. We don't go to any of the big lobster traps or steamer traps or whatever you yeah, want to call for, them. For those that don't know what steamers are, they're clams. <laughs> they're clams. So we bought we bought them and we got, I don't know, I think we got, for, for our family anyways, there was, we got like four big, big lobsters. I think they're about two pounders each, maybe a little more. I'm not sure. Yeah, about two pounds. About two pounds. And um, I don't know what they were per pound. Do you have any idea what the pound price was? Uh, no, I think uh, I don't know. I just know what we paid in total. But anyways, um, the, the, the lobsters, oh my gosh, they were so delicious. We went over our friend's Bill's um, campsite and he's got it all set up for lobster cooking and all that. And we had purged the steamers, the clams, so that they were purging in salt water, seawater for uh, two days. I mean, when we bought those steamers, they had just been dug. They were an hour old. That's how fresh they were. And they were absolutely fantastic. It all of a sudden had a torrential downpour, so we had some umbrellas out there. But then it, it ended up clearing up in time for us to be able to sit outside and eat, eat the lobsters and the steamers. and. You know, we had a couple of campfires and stuff like that. So the first few days were very, very kick back and relax and enjoy Justin and Tamara. It was really sad to see them go. They, I don't think, wanted to leave either. So that's um, that was the first few days. And then, then we had some rain, you know. So you saw the, the little sort of mini adventures that I included in here already on a few of our days. And today, we're off to go pick up some supplies that we ran out of because somebody didn't pack as much as she should have. So we're going to pick up some supplies and then maybe we'll go to Scudic, you think? Yeah, I don't see why not. We'll see yeah. what we'll do. It's sort of, right now it's overcast here, but over at the campsite, it was actually sunny. You know, sun was coming out. So, you know, when you're on the island, when you're in Bar Harbor, Maine, it's, uh, it's off the main mainland and you come onto the mainland like we are now heading into Ellsworth. I mean, the weather looks completely different than it was on the island. So you never know what you're going to get, right? But we'll share some of it with you. Scudic Point. And of course, we had to pose for a little yeah. selfie. Sitting on the rocks. And it's breathtaking views. See the views over there. Really, really beautiful here. It's a little cloudy. It is a little cloudy. Overcast. Of course, I still have my sunglasses on and my visor, you know, protecting my skin. <laughs> but it is beautiful here. Amazing view. It's just really awesome. Scudic Peninsula, known as the quiet side of Acadia. Not too many people here. So we climb down a little bit more. I don't want to go in there. So the clothes I have hanging on that clothesline over there, that's the clothes that I wear it during the fire pit. My smoky clothes, my neck is so wrinkled. 
I almost cut my finger off. I think he's going to try to get wet over there. The tide's going out. It's not that cold, is it, honey bunny? We miss you guys. So we're off on an M&J adventure. Where are we going, babes? Canada. We're going to Canada? Isn't Canada a long way away? No, nah, it's only a couple hours. So yeah, a couple hours going on an adventure to Canada. And before we got to Canada, I had wanted to find Jasper Beach. I had read about Jasper Beach, but we had never been. And it did not disappoint. What a gorgeous, gorgeous spot along the main coast. And then we got our passports out and continued to venture, pass through customs in Canada without any issues. Welcome to Campabella Island, home of Roosevelt, the President of the United States. Oh my gosh, what a wonderful, wonderful museum. We toured the grounds. We went through his summer cottage. It was just really nice. Not a lot of people, so it's a perfect time to visit. And after we explored around the compound, we decided we were going to go try to find lunch. And we went to this little restaurant called the Pier. And we sat outside on the pier. The views were phenomenal. People said they could see whales jumping right outside there. We didn't see any on this day, but it was beautiful. We had clam chowder and some fried clams, and I had a Caesar salad. And then we went off to the lighthouse, which is the highlight of the trip. Tide was in, so we couldn't cross over to actually walk over, but take a look at the views. So we are up, is this West Quaddy or East Quaddy? I never know. I think it's East Quaddy. We're in Canada. Campobello Island. I don't know if you can see the lighthouse over in the corner and at low tide you can walk out there but the tide's coming in so there's, there's no way we were walking out there. But we took a little walk in the woods. So, so pretty here. We probably make this trip every three years. From our campsite it's about a two and a half to a three hour ride depending on how often we stop to enter into Canada. There are two lighthouses in this area, East Quaddy and West Quaddy. West Quaddy is in the US in Maine and East Quaddy is in Canada. After we visited the lighthouse, we went down to Head Harbor, which never gone there before. And it was a working harbor, so it was kind of cool to see all the boats and just walk around and stretch our legs and enjoy the warm, warm temperature. It was such a, a beautiful, beautiful day. When we left here, we made our way back through customs into the USA. Of course, sometimes it's harder to get back into the USA than it is to have gone into Canada. So we made our way back to the USA and decided we were going to go and take a little detour in Lubeck. And we were going to head to the West Quaddy Lighthouse. And here I am posing in front of the bell or behind the bell. And this lighthouse is absolutely beautiful. It's on the Bay of Funday, high tides, it's a big park. You can picnic, you can do all sorts of wonderful stuff. Really nice, nice spot. And then we went back to our campsite, enjoyed more sunsets. And we knew that our trip was gonna be winding down at this point in time. So the last couple of days, it was sunsets, it was more lobsters and steamers, visiting with friends, and then one afternoon, we rode our bikes around, and then one afternoon, I went downtown and walked all around downtown Bar Harbor, went shopping, enjoyed the views. It was sort of a drizzly day that day, downtown Bar Harbor, so there was not a lot of people around. It was absolutely perfect. And that kind of wraps up our 2023 Bar Harbor, annual Bar Harbor vacation. Hope you enjoyed the videos and thank you so much for watching. A pledge of allegiance to the flag.